Hi everybody, it's Doreen and welcome back to day 14 of Christmas Cards with the Cricut. This is the card for today and this one is a gatefold card. So when you open it up, it looks like this. So, let's get started so I can show you how I made this. Okay, to make this gatefold card, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures five and a quarter by eight and a half. And I'm going to use my score buddy to score because the measurements are already there for a gatefold card. But if you don't have a score buddy, what you would do is you'd score at two and a quarter and at six and a quarter. But I'm going to go ahead and use the score buddy because it has the score marks right there for me. So I'm scoring and it has a little dot right there to show me where to score. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see that little dot. It's right there. And then there's another one at the six and a quarter, which is right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and score that using the score buddy. So I score at two and a quarter and then again at six and a quarter. And then if you fold it in and you score it real good like so, you now have your gatefold card. I really like this score buddy, especially for making cards. And I picked mine up at my local um, scrapbooking store, but you can purchase this at www.scorepal.com. And there's a it's score s c o r dash pal.com. Okay, so now that we've got that scored. I'm going to go ahead and start adding my layers. So let me get my supplies. And I'm going to zoom back just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. There. Okay. So now, I'm going to go ahead and take my bottom layer which measures 1 and 15 16 by 5 and a quarter. And this is some cardstock that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It is AC specialty paper. It's by American Crafts and it looks like this. And what it is basically is like a foil paper that looks like so. And sorry for the glare. And I took that cardstock and ran it through my cuddle bug using the swirls folder. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is before I adhere it down, I took and cut out two pieces for my top layer. And these pieces are cut at one and three quarters by five. And they're just a small thin layer of so that I can have just a small edge along here. And this paper is from the Holiday Collection by Die Cuts with the View. And it's a paper stack that looks like this. It has 180 sheets in it. And I picked this up last year at Hobby Lobby for I believe it was like $9 which was a pretty good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my ATG gun for this because I'm putting this paper on top of this foil and I really want it to stick. So I'm pulling out the ATG gun, which probably feels neglected because I've been using the Tomboy adhesive so much. But when I want to use 
want a heavy duty tape, that's when I pull out the big guns. So let me tell you, go ahead and tape down the first one. And I did ink my edges using my Tim Holtz um, tea dye distress ink. So there's the first one. And like I said previously, I like to really go around the edges to make sure my paper is sticking and adhered to the cardstock, especially when you're using this type of cardstock. So let's go ahead and put on the second piece. I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure it's where I want it. And to make sure I have the right measurement there. Yep, that's right. And then pull out the ATG gun again and go along my edges and up the side and then in the top and then in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this piece down like so and then run my finger along the edges. And it looks like I got a little glue on the outside. So I'm going to pull out my tool, which is an adhesive um, adhesive remover. And this is by EK Success. And I found out about this from Pam, whose YouTube channel is Pocono Pam. I was able to find it at my local craft store. But um, I did see it online. I believe um, Create for Less also carries it if you can't find it in your local scrapbooking store. So, and I love this tool because it just gets rid of all that glue. So now I'm ready to go ahead and adhere this down to each side. So once again, I'm going to line it up. And make sure it's where I want it which it is, and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere it down. So I'm going to pull out my ATG, ATG gun again. I'm going to have to give it another name because that ATG is a mouthful. So I think she needs a name. I just haven't thought of one yet. Anybody got any good ideas? Email me and tell me what you think I should call my ATG gun. So let's get the other side. Get the tape on. And get in the, in the top there. And I'm going to put that one aside. And I'm going to move this out because I want to make sure I get this even here. So I'm going to put this in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to adhere this down. Like so. So I've got my one side down. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the other side. And you want to kind of see if you can get these lined up so that they're even. And that looks about even. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that side down. So now, I have both sides down, and I'm ready to add the ribbon. Now, what I did for the ribbon is I took my Martha Stewart X-Acto cutter, and I'm just going to open up one side of my card, and I first want to measure where I want my little tag, Merry Christmas tag, to be. So... Let me measure that, and I want my greeting to go about there. So, what I'm going to do is, this already came with the foam dot on it, and I also got these in the dollar bin at Michael's. So, I need to take off half of it, of the foam dot that's on the back. So, I just make a slit. And then I just peel that off. 
and I can save that for something else so that my greeting will only be adhered to the one side of the gatefold like so so that's about where I want it and I find to make it stay closed you need something for this side to to hang on to now you could do it like so but then it's not really closed all the way so what I did was I took some ribbon and made like a little knot to hold and then to hold this part behind the ribbon so to do that I need to make a slit in my card so I'm going to open up the card and there's no exact sign to this I just kind of looked at it and I eyeballed it and I just cut in and made enough room so I can put my ribbon through and I think that's about enough if not I'll just cut some more so now I'm going to take my ribbon and my ribbon says Merry Christmas on it and I'm going to run this through from this side with the Merry Christmas facing and then I'm just gonna tie a knot and so then you have your little knot to hold in and keep your card closed so next I'm gonna go ahead and add the inside or my tree so now my tree was cut using the Christmas cartridge and it is key number 21 on my gypsy and I don't have the handbook because this was a free download with your um, the latest update to your gypsy but it looks like this Oops, let me do that again for you Oops not holding it there we go it looks like that I cut this at three and three quarter inches so I'm gonna go ahead and I cut this out of some white cardstock and for the shadow and for the tree itself I cut out of some red cardstock or actually no it was white cardstock as well and what I did was I took some embossing ink and ink the tree and then I took some red tinsel embossing powder and emboss the tree so it looks shiny and sparkly so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll use my Tombow for this because it's such a small thing and I'm going to adhere this to the inside of my card and I'm going to place it about right there and then just go ahead and of course you're going to get a little glitter all over the paper but I just kind of brushed that off and then I also cut out a little present and this present was cut at one and a quarter inches and it's from the birthday bash cartridge and it is on page 43 and it's this present right here and then I cut the layers for the bow. So let's go ahead and adhere that. And I also did the same thing. I embossed it with some embossing ink and then with, I used some white cardstock. And then I went on ahead and added the same red tinsel glitter. So we're going to put the present right there. Now I'm going to add a greeting and I put the greeting using my Stampamajig and some Stampin' Up! Real Red Ink and stamp down. 
Okay, there we go. So now we have the Merry Christmas. Close up my ink. And the last thing I need to do is I'm going to add my little bowls at the top. And I cut these bowls. I cut four of them. And they are from the Trim the Tree cartridge. And I use some of that aluminum foil cardstock by American Crafts. And I cut four total. And I took and adhered them together so they'd be a little thicker. And then I ran them through the Cuddlebug folder again using the swirls folder. So now I'm just going to take my zip zots and add these. And I've got a little bling in the middle there. So I'll take the zip zots and just pick one up and put it on the back and then just add it in the top there. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I decided not to have these pop up like on my sample card. I rather, I'm going to leave those laying down. Okay, so that is it. This is day 14 of Christmas Cards with the Cricut. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.